Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all enjoying the fall, if it's fall where you live. We are having another beautiful day of perfect weather, 75 degrees, the leaves are changing colors, and it's all gonna change tomorrow. Okay, today I want to talk about what your doctor should be asking you about your sleep. So if you have sleep issues, you've probably talked to your doctor, you've told them, maybe they've even run blood work, and everything is normal. And so he might tell you to stop watching TV before bed. She might prescribe a sleeping pill. He might tell you it's anxiety and it's all in your head, which really frustrates me. But I'm here to tell you, your insomnia is not from watching TV at night. Your insomnia is not from being deficient in sleeping pills. Your insomnia is not all in your head. There are systems in your body that aren't functioning properly and it's affecting your sleep and your health and your doctor isn't getting to the root of the problem. But here's what your doctor should be asking. First of all, do you have signs of hormone imbalance? And yes, this applies to men too, because things like that brain fog, low libido, fatigue, mood swings, and yes, for women, PMS and menstrual issues are a sure sign that hormones are out of balance. So one of the first things you can do is get your hormones checked. Low estrogen and progesterone, even for men, and high testosterone can disturb your sleep. Now, of course, high and low cortisol at night can also cause sleep issues. But if hormones are out of balance, you want to address why they're out of balance instead of taking this supplement forever. So hormones are out of balance when you're stressed and your body has to make cortisol all the time then it doesn't have enough resources to make your sex hormones. And so the only way to get your hormones back in sync is to minimize stress in your mind and your body and give your body a chance to recover. Now, another question your doctor should be asking is, do you have digestive issues? Do you have gas, bloating, diarrhea, or constipation? So if you have any of these symptoms and your gut definitely isn't healthy, and if your gut isn't healthy, then it can't make the neurotransmitters and nutrients that you need for sleep. If your gut isn't healthy, your gut lining will start to break down, which can lead to food sensitivities and nutrient deficiencies. So if you aren't sleeping well, your gut isn't healthy, even if you don't have digestive issues. But digestive issues are a sure sign that things are off. Do you have signs of a gut infection? So a pathogen in your gut can cause digestive issues. They can also cause sugar cravings, food sensitivities, yeast infections, and migraines. And they affect your sleep because pathogens, and I'm talking about parasites, a bacteria called H. pylori, and candida is a kind of yeast, they're most active at night. They cause a lot of inflammation, especially around 4 a.m., which then causes your body to release cortisol, which wakes you up. So that's a common thing that I look for for people who have sleep issues. Now, another thing that your doctor could be asking is, do you have blood sugar issues? So that's gonna cause sugar 